Did Arsenal fall off? This is a question that I've been asking myself in the past year because I've been around from the start of Arsenal. I've been playing this game for a very long time. Um, I actually started playing on my mobile device and I eventually started playing it on PC. And I've always enjoyed the game, but as of lately, I've been revisiting it. And honestly, I can't say the same. So buckle in for this explanation. I kind of want to dive into the details on what kind of ruined the game for me. And honestly, address that question because you can ask certain people and they're gonna say it did fall off and you can ask other people and they're gonna say that hey, it's still popular man i mean it still has around 22k players every day so it, it, it's debatable but today i kind of want to just address my own point so yeah let's get right into it i think first of all i think it's very obvious that arsenal has not been as fun as it once was and i think that there are you know various reasons for that of course you know the game itself had a pretty easy concept but as they started to expand more and more it kind of had this fortnite type effect where the more and more they added to it the the less fun it became and you know in the case of arsenal i some people still are diehard fans of this game which is fine but in my personal experience just playing the game now doesn't feel the same and i know a lot of people say that about any game they play you know the, oh we, we, we missed the old da, da, da. but i think in the case of arsenal especially it's just like it really does not feel as fun there's a lot of guns in the game now which are great but a lot of them are just op unbalanced or quite boring to play or they just restrict you know the gameplay altogether like you know using the spell book thingy that takes so long to get a kill with and once you get a kill I mean, the guy's already at 30 kills and you're like at, what, 6 or 7? The weapon balancing, again, is a huge thing that I think that they need to focus on. Um, especially because there is going to be a reloaded version of Arsenal. And I really do want to see what that is going to offer to the table. Because I feel like this Arsenal is not dead at all. And it could be revamped and brought back. I think the best thing is just to not put any of the old maps or sorry not any of the new maps in rotation i actually think that the old maps were some of the best and were probably the most fun to play so i think that by bringing back the old maps and you and you know playing them instead i think it's just gonna make the whole experience way more fun you know i think a lot of players missed those old maps and they were easy to learn and they didn't take you know 800 rounds to just like learn the play style of each map but like with some of the new maps it's really just like a waiting game there's a lot of camp spots and stuff like that and the old maps had them too but they were just much less you know i guess important to the game and like especially when you're playing stuff like competitive and arsenal it makes the whole thing harder and i think the whole point that i'm trying to say is that arsenal needs a rework i don't think it's falling off at all i mean if you look at the player count and you say 22k you're like no like that's not falling off numbers which is true but compared to what it once was you know it, it used to be at like 50 40k at least every day um at the, it, it, like, it was like summer 2018 literally was popping off i no sign of stopping and now it's like i don't even know if it's gonna like i, I don't even see videos of it anymore i mean i remember youtubers like tanker play, you know playing it and consistently making videos about it and now i don't even see like videos popping up in my recommended anymore and that may that's mostly because you know the things i watch have changed throughout the years and since 2018 but i still do think that there's a lot of weight that holds that the game itself is not fun to play anymore and that's why you had more i, I would say the biggest sign that this game was going you know in a downward spiral was when tanker quit and tanker was making very consistent content you have to understand that tanker was very uh, a huge prominent figure um, he, he would manufacture like the best content, you know, the best content, the most enjoyable content. And he was honestly dominating. Like he was getting two to three million views for a Roblox game, which unless you're a huge, huge YouTuber who already has a substantial fan base, it's crazy. So Tanker already set the tone that this game was good, but he himself quit to play like a, a, a Roblox Bed Wars, which I mean, listen, I can't get around that idea, but still like it's crazy to think that he quit for another game and he loved arsenal very much he talked about it but i do have to admit yeah he was right standard mode is kind of boring competitive is probably the most fun you'll have the new maps are very generic and they're again just like a lot of camp spots you know very very boring 
the old maps are not being brought into rotation as much. Um, if you and there's just a lot of stuff that really doesn't make the game fun. I think the only thing that the game has going for itself are the events, skins, and maybe emotes. Other than that, and maybe the rank stuff. But other than that, it's really just like you're spending all this time getting all these kills and stuff, and you're not getting much back. And I guess you, that goes for any video game, but especially with Arsenal, I, 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 I myself put a lot of hours. And I know some people who are close to me who've also put extreme amount of hours in the game and they just quit as well because they said that the game wasn't fun anymore or it wasn't as good anymore. And I really do think I, I really do think that stands true. So again, that's my take on it. Um again, I also think and I just want to state this, I'm not saying that the game is dead. Um this video is kind of a mess because I'm not scripting any of this, I'm just going with the flow. Um I'm not saying at all that Arsenal's a dead game and it's a trash game. I don't believe any of that. I think Arsenal's still a great game. The, what they were able to put out at that time, Roblox was a pretty small game, especially the FPS genre. The only dominant FPS game before Arsenal was Phantom Forces. And that game honestly still holds up pretty well. But I'm not trying to compare these two. What I'm saying is Arsenal had the, the most mass success, I would say, out of any other Roblox FPS game. Phantom Forces had a small, very, you know, intent intentive community, of course, that were willing to watch it no matter what, and, like, play the game and all that, which was really a very dedicated, smaller fan base. But Arsenal had that quick rise up, like, as a, like every game does. And eventually, that rise, it just goes up, 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 and then it comes down. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why Phantom Forces still holds up. And I said I wouldn't compare these two, but just looking at Phantom Forces, it has a much smaller community than Arsenal. I mean, overall, Arsenal has a bigger community, much more players. But Phantom Forces, you could still play right now and still have a blast. Like, I've made a video on it recently, and I had so much fun. So I think that because, you know, Phantom Forces has been slowly expanding from the start, but they haven't changed anything crazy to make the game completely different whereas arsenal changed a lot of things you know the way the you know system works the way the games work a lot of stuff changed since the start of the game and i think that's what kind of killed it um of course i'm not saying that it's dead i'm not saying that the game is completely ruined what i am saying though is that there's definitely a lot of stuff that changed which may or may not have led to the inevitable i guess player decrease and the likability of the game but of course, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, I would like to hear it. Um, this is my personal take. Of course, I might be wrong and I may be coming at this from a perspective because I, I do have to admit that I'm a little biased towards Phantom Forces. So maybe I need to remove my past prejudices and look at this game for what it is. But yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. It's a little rant. I'm going to be doing more of these. I'm going to be uploading a little bit more consistent. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.